up a little bit. Oh, don't worry. They'll be able to in about four minutes. We'll just shrink down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. Hello, you guys. Welcome to another yes, exciting, exciting feel episode it real fun. of Feel It Real Fun. That's right. That's right. So, guys, today. Our 24th of December. Guess what we're ready for. Woohoo! <laughs> you know what I got so far? What? I got bacon. Yes, you have. I got given bacon. Oh, we should be showing off Bruce's gift. That <laughs> was Ace that gift. <laughs> we should, well, let's put it on him. There's Emmett. Oh, oh, maybe for tomorrow, actually. Yo, Christmas Day. Did I see Gail was here? I saw Alice was here. And Sizzle. There the she is. There's a whole load. Hi, oh, Gail. Guess who the Sizzler. first one to pay for Triple D in February is? Oh, Gail. Good on ya. Boom. Oh, my God. So we got we got two more. <laughs> they're, they're, the race is on. Hi, Terry. So, Sweet. And Uga, Yasmin Uga, Uga, and Michelle. Uh, Hello, uh, you guys. Martina. Uh, uh, Hello. Martina. I don't think I've seen you for a while. Well, on, on the live shows is what I mean. Uma, Uma, Valerie, Uma, Uma <laughs> by your sister. Today we're going to talk about the virgin birth in the coolest nice. ways, right? We're going to eliminate stress. We're going to eliminate struggle and all that stuff. Yes, anyway, Zuli, we are. Yasmin the Maxwell is here, <laughs> yo. And Zuli. Zuli. Hello. Zuli. So. Now, by the way, you guys that are in the club, we got a call this weekend coming up after the Christmas, right? <laughs> <laughs> or Monday, USA Sunday. It's fun, Boom. fun, fun. It's not hard work, Scott. It's fun, fun, fun. That's right. <laughs> Feel it real what? Yeah, fun. Fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, All right. Victoria. So, go to freenovel.com. That's right. 221 email list, pseudo random goodness. Join our 90 day adventure at manifestingmasterycourse.com. Yes. It's like I want to go like that because I want you to see the top of my head. <laughs> Show them yours. It's the. It's angled wrong. It needs to go up. But anyway. Yeah, we'll get there. And for <laughs> refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. That is the rightness, everyone. So, <clears throat> Victoria, mm. let us talk about Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. She had a lamb. Yes. Oh. I remember that I one. I love lamb. Yeah. We love lamb. Lamb and pork. And maple flavors, oh, not even flavored, it's like maple, maple and syrup. Used. Bacon. Oof. All right, <laughs> it's going to be a Canadian breakfast, that's what I want to have tomorrow because right. we've got the maple bacon, we've got pancakes, eggs. I think, I, think I even got pancake mix, All which right. I don't normally ever do, but because we've got it as a gift, that's that right. Be yum, yum. All right, yes, okay, so let's do it. Mm. Boom. All right, so I assume that means start reading, Victoria. Yep. All right. Shut up and read, woman. <laughs> so today's show is called Manifesting Like Mary, the Virgin Birth Methods. Just to be clear, it's really not methods. It's more like the madness, but we will continue. Okay. All right. Apply this principle and you will know what it is to prove me and see. And that's in prove me and see. The story of Mary is the story of every man. Mary was not a woman, giving birth in some miraculous way to one called Jesus. Remember, this is you know, we're talking symbology mm. here that reveals the truth about you, you that sets you free. Yeah. So, Mary is the awareness of being that ever remains virgin, no matter how many desires it gives birth to. Right now, look upon yourself as this Virgin Mary, being impregnated by yourself through the medium of desire, becoming one with your desire to the point of embodying or giving birth to your desire. Now get how cool this is, guys, mm. because like Mary didn't need a man, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need the lottery win, mm. right? You don't need... Or the IVF program. Or the IVF program. <laughs> In vitro fertilization. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah, you don't have to add any weird shit in. Yo, mm. Kim, big love to you and your hubby. He is, I gotta <clears throat> call him, I keep missing. So maybe we'll call him on the way to get the sushi. So, mm. ready? Mary didn't need external help. Mm. Mary got pregnant. Yeah. Right? This is really impotent, guys. Really, really, really impotent. Oh, we're gonna ball gag Jesse. 
Bull gag Jesse. Yeah, bull gag Jesse's here. Bull oh, gag. wow. Nice to see you. Hello, bull gag Jesse. <laughs> so let's continue with the quote because this is really. I thought cool. that was it. No, no, no. no. Oh, it's more. Yes. As we are told in the story of Mary, magnify the Lord. We have identified the Lord as your awareness of being. Therefore, to magnify the Lord is to revalue or expand one's present conception of oneself to the point where this revaluation, in brackets, identification with the state of the wish fulfilled, becomes natural. So when I was growing up, I was told I was an idea guy, right? I'm pretty damn smart, great with ideas. I was born in uh, April. Two pound four ounces. Two was pound it? four ounces, <laughs> budding trees, moon. Yes. <laughs> and all that astrological stuff basically said that I'm a great starter. Huh. I'm an idea man. I'm a great starter. And I got to tell you something. I discovered something. Having a lot of ideas, having 10, 20 books half written, having a bunch of projects. Doesn't pay the fucking bills. Somebody write it down. Doesn't, doesn't pay. pay the fucking bills, right? <laughs> yes. So, so Mary, this this your awareness of being is God. Neville is showing us that Mary is this awareness of being, and then he goes a little bit smaller and he talks about this whole thing of like, literally, what's your concept of self? To magnify the Lord, to change how you are aware of being, how you experience the world, you have to expand. You got it. You get to change. So I went from being budding trees, moon, born in Aries, fire horse, all that stuff, great <laughs> starter, lots of energy, yeah. that kind of thing, to someone that finishes a whole bunch of shit because he likes getting paid, likes making a difference, right? Not just, yeah. See, I was born, I was a red hawk. I had the great perception. I could see systems and far away things and just, Yep, sort of like my distance. Not as high as the eagle, but never really coming down to earth a whole bunch. Just staying out there in one way or another. <laughs> but I got to magnify the Lord to change my perception <clears throat> of myself. And you all get how much we finish. We're always finishing something. Mm. Right? Always finishing something. Mm. So we magnify the Lord. Victoria, mm. continue. Continue. Okay. When this naturalness is attained, you give birth by becoming that which you are one with in consciousness. All right. So, Victoria has become more natural in the garden. It's been the coldest adventure to watch. Because before she'd push, yeah. right? Now she plays a lot. She still pushes. But we also we hire Karstens. We love Karstens to yeah, be we do. pushing, right? <laughs> That's fun, right? And Ray. And Ray, <laughs> right? Nice. But we, we, we've got this, this thing called the help. Yeah. Right? We love the help. <laughs> Yeah. But here's the fun thing. She magnified the Lord. She s chose to see herself differently. A lot of somebody who's getting tireder and tireder with more things and more things. There's always more things to do. Mm. And, there, and you're always going to have days where you're tired. She was tired yesterday. Right? Yeah. They worked hard. <laughs> right? Yeah. But at the same time, this whole thing of like, you know what? I'm not just a great starter. Right? Yeah, I'm a great doer, a great finisher, a, a, a great inspirator, right? Mm. It just, you know, you know, Neville started out, think about this. Neville left Barbados. Why? He wanted to come to America and preach. So he came to America and he, and he worked in the elevator, right? Pushed yeah. the button, <laughs> welcome to the elevator. Up and down would the go, man. right? They, they gave him, yeah. a, you know, charged him just a measly amount of rent to be able to sleep <clears> in the building too, I guess. And, and that was it. That's how he started out. Right, and then he got fired. Why did he get fired? Anyone know? Because he he didn't want to be a lift operator, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. It's because he wanted to. Yeah, he was imagining something else. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so, so he's if he stayed with him, Neville Goddard, the elevator operator, mm. right? Uh, he'd That's still be straight. there, right? Yeah, yeah. But he magnified the Lord. He got faithful. He dove deeper into, you know what? This is my hunger. This is my desire. He impregnated himself. Mm. Ain't that cool? Mm. See, I told you. The, the oh, we here, we are, here shrinking. we are shrinking. <laughs> I'll pop down a little bit more. <laughs> so, Lisa, welcome to the show. Cool. Excellent. So, notice how cool that is. And, uh, Victoria, anything you want to add in? Anything that stands out? Or you want to do the strawberry bit thing? Or no, but... Uh, you got okay. me over in Prezzy Corner. Yeah. Because there was a part of me years ago that didn't like finishing things. 
or wanted to finish things but wouldn't finish things because it felt like, well, then that's the end yeah, or death. something. Yeah. Yep. And Oops. now I love finishing things. It's like I'm really, I'm not pushing, but I'm mentioning to Ray, we could f actually finish the wood store <laughs> and then finish this bit. And, uh, and it feels ice, so yeah. So those of you who are in the club and we're exploring time, right? One of the ways that people experience time is, you know, has them experiencing finishing something as death. So if you've got a primary way of going through time that ends with finishing anything feels like death, mm. you're mm. never going to finish anything, right? Yeah. You'll find all we'll sorts of things to start. End. Right? Yes. Yes. But if you've got all four ways of time functional, oh baby, then you can finish shit and you realize you don't die. If anything, you finish and you can smellibrate. Smellibrate? Smellibrate. <laughs> Get some of that yummy soap and you smellibrate. All that rose soap that I've just got given. Oh, Chrissy Prezi. That's it was right. Lovely. Think about this, right? Mm. <laughs> she got yummy soap, I got yummy bacon. You did. Ooh, yes. Ooh, 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 you can ooh. eat yours. I can smell me. <laughs> me. Whatever it is. <laughs> Yo, Triple D John. Hello, John Mads. Yo. Your alarm went off. Yay, mm, you're here. <laughs> Good. Mm. Well, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. our Christmas show. But we'll be back tomorrow. St the story of Mary. It's uh, And actually, let me just do it. <laughs> oh, my. Let me do this first. So right. tell us. What was your strawberry bit? Brian, check and your email. <laughs> Hello, Brian. Boom. For me, um, just how... Are they called parables? I don't know. Anyway, the things in the... If there's the things in the bubble, <laughs> the stories. Stories. It's like yes. um, getting the... Getting the... What is it? Neville's interpretation, anyway, and you, especially Neville's interpretation, like when we did the 12 disciples, and I yep. have no idea. Like when I'm learning the Bible when I'm a kid, I'm thinking there's this real person called Mary, she's a girl, she got pregnant, wow, she didn't even, you know, just God <laughs> she impregnated didn't even her, put up with guy. <laughs> or whatever. Whoa. Yeah, or whatever. <laughs> I had no idea that, and, and then it was like I just found it all boring reading about someone else's life in the Bible. Do you know what I mean? When I'm a kid. I was just like, ah, forget this. <laughs> and I've got to give you money. What the hell's that about? <laughs> that's right. We have so, to voluntarily give you money. Yes. Mm. So um, what? that's my strawberry bit. Now learning about what actually these are all about. And I love that. Yeah, me too. Different states. Yep. Mm. So what was your strawberry bit? I like the whole thing where Neville says natural. You know, this whole thing of you, you give birth... And when Neville says, let me get the exact yeah, quote, because this is really good. Uh, da, 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 da. It'll probably, oh, when yeah. this naturalness is attained, mm. okay? It's not like rah, rah, re, whenever my vibration is high enough and I rest start getting all twitchy, you know, <laughs> rah, rah, rah. <laughs> yeah, then it'll come, right? Twitchy. Yeah, yeah. When that's natural, you know, everyone says you gotta raise your vibration, you gotta align your vibration. It's like, oh yeah, that all feels fun, right? Yeah, 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 rah, rah, re, kick him in the knee, rah, rah, ass. Kick yeah, him in the other knee, right? <laughs> yeah. but, but natural. We were like we were talking yesterday. You know, you mentioned, you know, like that whole thing. There's that naturalness. You find that point yes. where that naturalness when it's shows not up. the wish, but the wish fulfilled. Because yep. the wish fulfilled brings on the tones of reality, the naturalness of it all, yep. not the excitement of the wish. Yeah, yeah, totally natural. Cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah, who's that, Brian? Hashtag strawberry bit, oh, all one bear. word. <laughs> yes, that's what we want. <laughs> Ooh, forgot to say that. that. Yeah. Hashtag strawberry bit. They're getting wound up for Christmas. That's right. Okay. I'll we'll take you guys for a ride. So while you type in your strawberry bits, go to freenevel.com. Yeah, go there. 221, email this pseudo random goodness. Join our 90 day adventure at manifestingmasterycourse.com. Yeah, you know, it's the length of a season, 97 bucks total. That's right. right? You can do it as many times as you. Anywho, and what 15 I love to 25 was minutes a day. And what Rob Big total. said, what's it costing you not to do it? Yeah, what's it costing you to dick yeah. around? Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, that was a we great had start. a lady like three years has been emailing the same sorts of questions isn't it yeah, like and finally dove again. in and oh, finally now. yes they've bought manifesting mastery and it's like do you realize this has been going on for three 
Yes. Three and a half years. The same issues, yeah, the same to, questions. To put that to yeah, Boom. lots of angry signs. I don't know who that's from. Probably Tommy. <laughs> I don't care now. Um, and uh, for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. Uh, looks, looks like Tommy's hitting all the buttons. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah Tom, just Tommy's, da -da 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 -da. Feeling, Tommy's feeling a little da -da -da. bit twitchy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yasna Maxwell's off to make chocolate mouse. Oh. I didn't, think, I didn't think you like chocolate. <laughs> I'm making bistro cheesecake. <laughs> and I'm making sushi. Strawberries with kirsch. Apparently that's the best liqueur to put on it with the sugar. Fresh strawberries. Raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries. Oh. See, they'll be all eating that. Marinated in sugar kirsch. Sack shit. <clears throat> and you know what I'll be doing? I'll be having me some... I think I'm going to do three kinds of meat footage tomorrow since... Three kinds of meat. Three, uh, three kinds of meat. For what one? Christmas you'll lunch. do lamb. Definitely. Oh, look, look at that. You'll do pork. Look at that dog. So what's the third? Chicken. I don't know yet. Yeah. I don't know what you do with lamb and pork. You won't eat beef, so I tend maybe to eat beef. chicken. Yeah. Because we're having too much. Well, we're having sushi again. Anyway, sorry, you guys. All right. <laughs> That's our show. Have a lovely day. Yes, we will have a really brief five-minute higher tomorrow. show tomorrow. That's right. Have a great Our Christmas. Christmas, Day, Christmas. Your Day Christmas Eve. Eve. That's right. Have yeah. a great. If we don't, if we don't catch you, have a great Christmas. Yes, when Maxwell says two layers. You talking about the hair on your legs again? <laughs> <laughs> the moose. It'll be oh, white chocolate, chocolate and dark chocolate yeah, yeah, moose. Yeah. Look, and then yes, strawberry on top. <laughs> and yes, strawberries <laughs> on top. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Here Love we you go. guys. Love you guys. Genetically modified protein snacks. No, that's what you say. No, genetically modified sugar sacks. Well, yeah, for sh for, yeah, for fruit. That's uh, great because that like fruit. all the it's, like it's all the genetically modified cake. dumb shit. Well, cheesecake. Remember the first ingredient in cheesecake is cheese. It is. <laughs> that's right. The a cheese. kilo of Philly cheese. I can't wait for a that. A kilo goes Love in you, my Michelle. cheesecake. <laughs> it's so <laughs> yum. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> See you. Love you guys.